first, welcome comedian Mike Gaffney. Are you excited to be grouped into the same category as a lemur? I didn't realize it was a lemur. I, I didn't want to tell him that. that I was told a surprise. You knew about the ghost. You said it was an animal. That's I, all you I said. I told him it was an animal. Oh, I, I wanted to group you into the same, same category. Nice. <laughs> But we're leading with the Mike Gaffney. The lemur is following me. We're leading Good with luck. you. That means you, you know, there's Good luck, a lot of lemur. pressure on. There's a lot of pressure on you right now. <laughs> no, a lot of pressure on the lemur. <laughs> I'm out of here in 10 minutes, and that lemur's got to follow this. Good luck. Let's see what he has. You're hysterical. <laughs> I was watching you. You were on Last Comic Standing. Yes. Um, what has it been like for you to kind of change your life? You, you kind of developed an idea of wanting to do comedy a little later on. Yeah, I was almost 32. I think when I got full custody of my kids and it was just me and them, I saw a lot of potential. <laughs> I saw a lot of potential. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, just every day waking up and seeing them in the morning and like they're giving me hours of material. So I'm like, I should talk about this on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Do they hate that? Oh, yeah, at first they did. My son does. My daughter does. She loves it. My daughter will tell me, you should talk about this. She loves to tell me what I should say. On really? Stage. My son was like, why do you got to tell that story? Like, because you're dumb and it makes people laugh. <laughs> So what do you love, you know, being, you know, a single dad and kind of raising them, is it easier for, is it for a boy or a girl to raise one uh, or the other? See, we were just, a boy, I'll take 900 boys over one 17-year-old girl. Really? Absolutely. It's that bad? It's not that bad, it's just that easy. <laughs> it's, he doesn't take much, he doesn't, like, he, I wanted him to come on this trip with me. It's an 11-day road trip, mm -hmm. and she was like, I want to come, he didn't want to come. And I was like, you're high maintenance. That's 11 days of me. I don't have it. I don't have it in me. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> We're day one, and I don't even want to go back to the room. <laughs> she's, she's at the room she's waiting for you. Room. Why she, didn't you bring her? Yeah. Why didn't I bring her? She's like, Dad, did you ask? I'm like, ah, I forgot. <laughs> Darn it. The next time, maybe the next time. Ah, I, was so I hope she's not watching right now. She's not. She, she's sleeping, right? Yeah, she's doing her hair or something. So you get a lot of your stand-up then from making fun of your, your daughter, your wonderful yes, daughter. Yes, yes. Most of it comes from, actually from him. She is more annoying. She angers me. Okay. So she makes the anger come out, and he makes the funny come out because he's just in his own world. So what does she do that really makes you angry? Like, Talks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's at a level. It, my whole conversation, this is my, my when my daughter is this. The whole time is, yeah. Can bring it down. Just bring it down. You don't have to always be there. It doesn't always have to be like so serious. And then I don't know where the excitement part is. If you're always at the same level of voice, oh my God, yeah, was that them? Where am I supposed to get happy? I don't know where to get happy <laughs> for your conversation. Like I don't know. You got to dip and then bring it up. And they're like, oh, there's the fun part of that story. But it's always the same. So I tune out. I'm done. So everything with her is it's is above and beyond. So it could be the simplest little thing? The, it will be the simplest little thing. Hey, I want eggs. That's to be like, hey, Dad, can you make me some eggs? It's, Dad, oh my God, <laughs> can we get some freaking eggs in this house? Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my God. Do you like cooking then? Do you yeah. cook for them all the time? Uh, not all the time, but a lot. We live home with my family uh, because it was hard. And when I first broke up, when I first was single, I had them and it was, they were young, so I couldn't go out. I worked a full-time job and did comedy every night of the week. So my mom was always at my place watching them, so we moved home. So do you like being a single dad, or are you ready for something else in your life? I've been ready, but it's hard. It's impossible. It's impossible. Then you'd have another woman in your life. Yeah, though. that I wouldn't mind, because she's old enough. She can handle me telling her to shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I've been single for a long time. Maybe they don't handle it well. <laughs> Apparently. So you you made some pretty big time people laugh. I, Roseanne Barr was laughing hysterically. I saw at some of your she stuff in last comment. She likes the anger. She likes the anger. She says she feels it. When I'm talking, she goes, "You get me angry," and that makes her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there pressure on you when you? I mean, when you're performing in front of an audience to make? I mean, do you get enjoyment out of it? Is there pressure to make sure that I, you're always seeing people laugh? Well, as a comic, we'll, we always tend to find that one that isn't laughing, and like we could have last night's show had. I don't know, it must have been almost 300 people there, but if there was one in the audience that was miserable, I would have been on him or her, just like, why are you like me? Why are we so needy? I have no idea, but we need the whole entire group to enjoy us. But okay. I love watching people laugh. That's my favorite thing. And if you're in my family or you're my friends, if I can make you laugh, that's like the top. To watch my friends and family giggle and wipe tears from laughing, that's my favorite thing. I think you do a pretty good job of it. You, got, you guys got to check him out. He's going to be at Hilarities. You're there tonight and Sunday night. I'm headlining tonight and Sunday night, and I'm opening this weekend for Jim Brewer. 
Do you like Jim Brewer? Yeah, he's hot. Have you ever seen his goat boy impression? Yeah, absolutely. I ask everybody this. I'm not going to do it because I did it the last time and it was really embarrassing. And <laughs> look, Scott knows. He knows how bad it was. Can you do that impression at all? No. It's good though, isn't it? Yes, it is. You can do it? No, I, I can't. And I tried it and everybody made fun of me, so I'm not going to do it this time. Okay. But um, go see him, Andrew Brewer, at Hilarities this weekend. I think it's going to be great. Go check, go get some great food there too before you head yes, out. Yes, absolutely. All right.